Hello everyone, it's G here with Golden Thread Tarot. <laughs> and today we're going to, and on today I'm going to be bringing you a message from your soulmate. So obviously this is not going to apply to everybody. Obviously this is not going to be a message for everybody, but we're going to pull some clarifying cards and all, you know, some clarifying um, tarot cards and then also some oracle cards and some message cards from your soulmate. So, you know, um, kind of listen and see if it sounds like it's going to be your scenario. Um, I'm going to set this up for you. The soulmate message really came to me because I was listening to like some ASMR, like situational ASMR. So the, what I was listening to was a rainy day at a coffee shop. So it's like a, you know, coffee shop, a background noise, a kind of people talking and then like the rain, it's like raining outside. And then there's like jazz, like soft jazz music playing. So I was listening to this circuit, it just kind of came up on my playlist and started playing. And then out of nowhere, I was like, I just got this message. And I was like, oh, this is a soulmate message. So I really feel like this is going to be either a first date or possibly for some of you, like a first meeting of a soulmate. Um, and you're pretty quickly, I feel like, coming into union with this person but the main message was like surrender surrender and let this person just come into your life when it's supposed to happen you know don't be out there looking for it or like really out there on you know the look for it just kind of it's when you're not thinking about it when you're just like oh it's kind of a rainy day I just heard vacation so you could be out on vacation or you could be traveling somewhere and you're just like it's been raining for like two days or it's, oh, it's just going to be all rainy today. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, I'm going to have like a, maybe like a little work day. Like maybe or like, I mean, I need to get out, you know, I need to get out, but it's kind of raining. So I'm just going to go sit at a coffee shop and like get some work done or kind of just be out. I'm seeing like somebody, um, you could be like some kind of artist or something, or maybe you just like to draw, like maybe you're sitting there kind of out in public, like sketching people. Um, I find that really, really relaxing and fun, but you know, you just have to be careful and make sure people aren't just like, see you staring at them. But anyway, <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so the message that I got was surrender, surrender, and um, while you're rebalancing yourself, okay? So this could be at a coffee shop, at a health food store, at a juice store is what I heard. I don't, it's some, you're out somewhere and it's kind of like raining and you're just like, oh, I just got to, or maybe you're out and about and it starts raining and you're like, oh, I got to get out of the rain, you know? So you get out of the rain, you kind of duck into like a little store, a little shop or something like that. And you're going to come into contact with the soulmate. Um, now, not for all of you, I'm hearing not for all of you, this soulmate is going to be a romantic person. For some of you, it is. And for, and, um, you know, and the, the people that that applies to is going to be, I, I really feel like your next soulmate kind of relationship. Um, or this could be just somebody, a really close friend or somebody that, uh, somebody in your inner circle, somebody that's in your soul. Either way, it's going to be, you're meeting, meeting a member of your soul tribe. So huzzah, congratulations. This is, you know, hype, get hype. Cause this is going to be awesome. Okay. Um, so definitely. So what I got was raining. I got two days. I got, um, I really like, uh, I got this feeling that like maybe you're just kind of sitting there. Maybe it's a little crowded or something and there's not that many places to sit. Or maybe somebody just comes and is like, is this seat taken? Like, can I sit here besides you at this table? There's nowhere else to sit or something. It's kind of a situation like that where somebody asks to sit next to you maybe the the tables are kind of closer together or something like that but it's I, I heard somebody ask is this seat taken and um you know it's kind of like this person is just like taking is making small talk with you like oh uh, this rain is terrible you know like oh yeah but I like the rain or blah 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 or whatever you're saying you know and then um I, I heard I heard somebody say I like this music and then somebody was like either this person is like um, and you don't know this, maybe this person like owns this little shop or something like that, but it's like this person is like, oh, this is my music. And you're like, what? And they're like, yeah, yeah, like I know the shop owner or this is my shop. And, you know, they, you know, they put me on, they play, they play my music of my band or they play, you know, music that I produce here. And you're like, oh, that's really cool. And it's kind of like this jumping off spot for you and the, between you and this person. I also heard, out of nowhere, I heard garlic bread. So I don't know how that's going to apply. Maybe somebody talks about garlic bread. Maybe you're eating garlic bread. I'm not sure, but garlic bread is there. Uh, maybe you're in some kind of like little pastry or bread shop or something like that. Um, and I also heard cinnamon roll or cinnamon bun and I heard hot chocolate or tea. And uh, for the tea, I specifically heard chai tea. So I don't know. Like I said, it's going to be some little ambiance. Those are going to be little cues for you. Um, and then I heard somebody say, I finally have a day to myself. Um, and, and then, like I said, I heard somebody say, is this seat taken? And then I heard shedding your old skin. Um, I can't even read this. 
Oh, a stranger. And then something might also happen in the background. Like somebody might get loud or some kind of commotion might break out and somebody's going to have to ask somebody to leave. So I don't know, maybe you could be at a bar maybe because also also with the surrender I heard festival like a festival or event or something like that you could be out somewhere at a festival or event and then it starts raining and you're like walking the streets and you're like let's duck into this shop right here or you know I'm gonna duck into the shop shop right here to get out of the rain and like you just happen you know happen to be there happen to be there's all this happenstance like wow how did I just happen to run into you and you know it just seems like meant to be right so um, yeah, like, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start here with the witch's wisdom. So let's see. Okay, so feminine on the back here, and then homeland in reverse. So foundation, homeland in reverse, you definitely could be traveling, like I was saying, right? You definitely could be traveling away somewhere where you not normally are. Um, this could happen after you move. Yeah, and I really feel like right now you're not really looking with this hand fasting union. You're, you're like, I'm not really looking for any. I'm not really looking for this right now. You weren't expecting this to happen. Um, this could have happened after you just got out of a relationship with somebody or you could have gone through a breakup, you know, and then you're kind of just out and about trying to get back out in the scene or just trying to go out and have a good time, you know, spend some time out by yourself, just kind of rebalancing your energy. And then you run into this person. And you're like, I'm not really looking for a boyfriend right now, but you know, or a girlfriend right now, but hey, you know, something starts up with that incubation, like something gets started. Okay, so the summer card came out, so you definitely could, oh, sunflowers, look at that, the sunflowers, my sunflowers back here, so so sunflowers, it could be a flower shop, it could be some kind of like f a festival of, it could be some kind of like summer fest or festival um, out and about, it could it could have to do with something about flowers, it could be like fla some kind of flower fest or something like that is what I just heard, so it's something about this summer, it definitely could happen this summer which it's summer right now. So like, like I said, as of the time I'm filming this, it's like late summer. So, uh, magic. Okay. Candles. You could, uh, pop into some kind of like candle shop or something like that along the street and you're, or maybe you're just kind of exploring, like maybe you just moved into a new town and you're kind of just walking around exploring the little shops or something like that. And you're like, wow, this is really cool. Um, yeah. Intention one. So it definitely, you could be exploring some kind of esoterical shop or something like that. Um, and you're just like, wow. Oh, also with this, I'm hearing you manifested. Like you manifested this meeting. You and this person both manifested meeting each other. Uh, you're in each other's soul tribe, right? Definitely. Okay, so cauldron or containment in reverse. So definitely you are um, doing something new is what I'm hearing. Like breaking your walls, breaking out, doing something you've never done before, getting out there, putting yourself out there, um, and just kind of like being like, yeah, I guess so. And then also to like brew, right? Like a brew, like a brewing coffee or something like that. Um, also, I'm hearing that somebody's drink could spill. Like somebody might spill a drink or you might spill a drink on somebody. You're just like, I'm so sorry. Like I'm hearing this very like accidental run into each other bumping into each other spilling you know maybe somebody like spills hot coffee or something or you do you know on you or you spill it on them and you're just like I'm so sorry you know and that starts a conversation they're like it's fine it's fine and you're like oh my I feel so bad I'm so sorry you know and it starts out a conversation you know and, the, and it's like it's like something happens and they're just like oh they're like oh man this sucks it's like oh I'm so sorry <laughs> you know and then it's, it's like this person I see like this person like maybe like bent down or something like that and they look up and they're just like oh my gosh like who are you? Like, wow, you're beautiful. Or like, wow, like, who are you? know, like, I, I literally hear somebody say, yeah, wow, you're beautiful. And look what's on the fulfillment. And the right, right, I just talked about that, right? Like a cup. You definitely could be drinking. Somebody could spill. But it's also just like fulfillment, like this chalice, like, there she is. Or like, there they are. Like, oh my gosh, this is like the ace of cups, right? Like, I'm hearing love at first sight. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Like, some, like exactly like I was just saying, right? Like, somebody was just like, wow, like, who are you? Like, oh my gosh, like, and that could be you or them or it could be both of you. Maybe like, just kind of look into each other's eyes and you're like, oh my gosh. But I definitely feel like this, like somebody like looking up and then like your eyes meeting and then it just being like, oh wow, like I have to talk to you. I have to know you, like, who are you? Wow, isn't this cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, what else do you want to talk about here, Spirit? Okay, thank you. 
Okay, tarot cards. So you are like, obviously you're here watching this tarot card reading. Um, maybe you could do tarot cards or this person could do tarot cards. Like I said, you could be at some kind of esoterical shop, like maybe at some kind of like tarot card uh, shop or reading, getting some kind of reading or something done at some place. I don't know. But definitely with security in reverse and witch's cottage in reverse. Hmm, what am I feeling with this witch's cottage in reverse? I'm hearing protection, so maybe you go to some esoterical st stopped, uh, shop to get some kind of protection spells. Maybe, like I said, you just moved into a place, so you're kind of like clearing the energy or something like that, and you're like, I really need to clear the energy, or I just need to kind of like get some bad vibes out from uh, around me or, or something like that. Definitely with this invocation ritual in reverse right here. Um, breaking, like breaking some kind of spells or doing something like that. I don't know. Or maybe this person is doing some investigating, trying to break, trying to break some kind of spell or something off of them. Hmm. I'm hearing jealousy, excuse me, a jealousy spell. So this person could be like trying to break some kind of jealousy spell. And so they're out trying to find, you know, trying to find something to do that. Um, but I'm not hearing that this person, no, this person hasn't done any kind of spell work on you or anything like that. But there, there's some like... It's kind of like this getting over, getting over something. Okay, fertility. Yeah, but look, did I not just say that right? It's like, wow, like you meet each other and you're just there like staring into each other's eyes and like look with the fire, like boom, like instantly like, oh wow, like who's this person? And Beltane, Beltane happens during the spring. It happens like late, uh, like late March. So maybe um, you guys... Uh, you guys could meet in the in like late March, spring. This could be next year, or you know I don't know. It could happen around then. Look, did I not talk about that fire, fire passion, right? That fiery passion. Like as soon as you look into each other's eyes, you're just like, oh wow, like, <laughs> what is this? Like wow. Okay, so that's uh, Sir. I've been hearing that song a lot here recently. That's um, Sir. Why? That's why I love you. Um, you guys check that out. It is the lyrics of the song are like really sad, but it is kind of like perhaps you or this person just got out of a situation that was strictly like strictly sexual, kind of like a situationship or something like that. Yeah, definitely. The two of you have been do both of you have been doing like shadow work. So you're definitely getting like coming out of some kind of situ of situation or maybe the both of you are kind of like maybe one or the both of you are like, is this just going to be a situation ship? Like, are we kind of just there's just like this instant spark of like passion or like, like, wow, like I really, really like you like at first. But it's like, but right with that union, right with the union, it's like, but I'm not. You know, I'm not looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend right now. I'm not looking to be in a relationship right now. But there's like, there's just something happening between us. I know we both can feel it, you know, definitely. Oh, yes. And so remember I was saying that the two of you, the two of you have definitely been manifesting each other into your life through your shadow work, right? The shadow work that you've been doing and spirit, invoca uh, not invocation, but initiation. So the two of you are going through an awakening. Both of you have be have both been going through an awakening, and because of that, you have manifested each other into your lives, and you've both been doing your shadow work. And so because of that, like, boom, here you are meeting the soulmate person, right? Wow. So you definitely could have felt like here with this tarot card, um, one, you, it, the tarot card could be this tarot card reading, you know, you're like, wow, like I knew, or like you, there was, there's some kind of like, I knew it. There's some kind of like, maybe perhaps this tarot card could, uh, tarot card card guidance could also be that you were guided spiritually to go here. Like maybe you're just walking around and spirit was like, Hey, go in the shop. And you're like, okay, the shop looks cool. You know? And then later on, after the two of you get to know each other more, you're going to both confess to each other that you both got spiritually guided to go there or like maybe that you got spiritually guided to go to this place in a dream or something like that. But definitely there's some kind of like, I knew something was going to happen and I felt like the both of you knew. It was it was very much of the situation like I knew something was going to happen. I knew I was going to meet somebody or I knew I just had this feeling that something was going to happen today, you know, and boom, it's you and, and you're there and then you're both doing like this, the shadow work and then you're just both just like 
being magnetic magnetically drawn into each other right i'm hearing like the like seeing like the chemistry card in this deck for sure Ooh, wedding so somebody could get married and the vibe did i not say that very soon very soon very soon what's this card getting to know each other absolutely so definitely getting to know each other like definitely very soon you're getting to know each other um this definitely could happen at a wedding like I, I have been picking that up a lot in the collective here recently death the both of you are definitely going through some kind of transformation also i'm hearing halloween so it could happen sometime around halloween sorry <laughs> I really barely held that death card up. Yeah. Homecoming. But you definitely could be away from home. With this home that homecoming in reverse keeps coming. So you're definitely away from home. Either you or this person is traveling away from where you norm this isn't some place where you normally would be. Um, definitely, especially if you guys, yeah, clearance, broomstick. You got this is definitely happening after you guys are have done a bunch of clearing out old energy to get out of your life. You guys have both been working really hard towards clearing out your energy, clearing out old exes or karmic cycles and things like that out of your life. Um, I'm also hearing cleaning. I'm thinking about in my um in my card deck that I make, my Mystic Arts, I have the the broomstick card, which is about movement. About, which is also about clearance, but it's also about like movement because I was thinking about a witch jumping on a broomstick and like moving. So you definitely could meet this person after you move or this person could have just recently moved into the area where you meet them. One or the other. Yeah. I'm just hearing like clearing out shadow. Like, yeah, you guys are doing like crazy amounts of shadow work dedication altar yeah the two of you might have both been like very recently discovering discovering your your connection to spirit and so the both of you are um especially with this tarot cards here and this altar right here both of you by might, might practice kind of uh both practice kind of like open spirituality or things like that and you're like oh you do that like i do that too like oh wow really but you know and then you start talking and you know getting to know each other spending some time around each other and there's definitely this sense of some kind of accident happens not like like a hard accident or anything that's like really bad or anything like that but it's like somebody it's like something simple like you just bumping into each other or you like actually spilling something on somebody or something like that there's definitely some kind of something there along that but i also feel with this containment card i, I feel like the two of you energetically as soon as you meet each other you're just like boom and like your heart chakra opens up and you feel all kind of like energy like swirling around you and you're just like something's going on something's happening i feel it i feel it <laughs> alchemist or er, um herbal kitchen so you could right what i was saying earlier right with that like health store or health foods or or juice store or something like that there could there's definitely something some kind of health foods involved here um this person this person could be working the event they could be working at some kind of event or something like that that like if you are like say if you do meet this person at a wedding they could be part of like the catering staff or something like that they could be working back in the kitchens um it could be some kind of server or something like that at the at the place where you are. Yeah, I just keep hearing that that this is why. Yeah, this time it really ain't love. I I really feel like, and I really feel like it's you. I really feel like you're you're kind of gonna take this kind of casually because you're like, look, I'm not really looking to date right now, or maybe you don't see yourself dating this person or, or maybe like physically I'm hearing like I'm seeing like the keep the open mind card like I'm seeing like physically maybe this person you deserve love but you need to understand you deserve love about it yeah healing family issues yeah maybe you're like oh, look I'm healing right now maybe you or this person just went through a, a bad or nasty breakup or a divorce or something like that and you're like and they're sitting there telling you how they just got out of a divorce and you're like so you're looking for a rebound like no thanks like I don't think you're going to take me very seriously or maybe it's the you know maybe it's the other way around there's definitely like this sense of like mm, I don't know about this but it's like you feel the connection with this person yeah did I not just say that which is have power you feel like this person's power like this the energy that's around this person and you're like I don't know there's something here but I don't know if it's something long term protection yeah you might feel like 
um, you might need to protect yourself. Um, or maybe you, uh, with this, I'm feeling like walls up, like you have your walls up, like maybe you're the person that just got, or maybe there, there's something about having walls up and kind of being like, definitely one or both of you just got out of kind of like a nasty, like karmic connection. And you're like, Ooh, I'm just trying to have fun right now. Um, you know, I'm just trying to kind of clear my energy and be single and kind of like really, in, you know, I'm really enjoying my single life and then boom, out of nowhere, spring. So definitely remember I mentioned uh, spring and uh, being in Beltane. So this could happen sometime in the spring. It could happen in spring, um, could happen in the fall could, or something significant could happen between the summer, the fall and the spring between the two of you. Oh, Wow. So tower moment, some kind of tower moment happens and then the staff stability came out. So definitely grounding, grounding and balance. Yeah. What are these other two cards? Oh, and water cl uh, cleansing and then Yule. Um, I just heard the two of you. Oh, okay. So I just heard the two of you might spend Christmas together if you celebrate Christmas or just you might spend those hol holiday time around each other. Um, but it's definitely, definitely like with this water cleansing and then like this Yule rebirth, right? There's definitely like between, between spring, summer and, and, and like the winter time, it's like a whole year. It's maybe the two of you like know each other for a year before you get serious or you just spend a lot, of, spend a good amount of time really getting to know each other. Like that's kind of like the feeling that I have out of this. And there's definitely the both of you are going through like this rebirth of your spirit, this rebirth. And it's like this overflowing, like the containment, right? The uh, who you really are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cloak concealment, right? This cloak concealment is actually when you actually read the book in this, the, in the accompanying book, that, that guide book. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. When you actually read the guidebook that comes along with this, this um, this concealment is a is actually about removing the cloak and showing yourself for who you truly are, like standing in your truth. So, definitely, there's there's definitely this sense of like coming out, um, coming out, being true to who you really are, and like allowing your truth to be known because you're going through this awakening. Absolutely, there's the winter time. So. Is not reverse? Why is this winter time in reverse though, Spirit? Okay, so it definitely came out again. And then look, the autumn card. Oh my gosh, so definitely autumn. So something between, um, for some of you, you're going to meet this person in the spring and between the spring and summer. Um, or maybe Spirit saying between the spring and summer you are, uh, of whatever, whatever time this is that you're meeting this person, you've had like this big initiation, this big awakening. You're kind of like um, dealing with uh, some karmic issues, but then you're getting rid of it. And then sometime between the autumn and the, in the winter time, um, you could meet this person and, you know, there's going to be like this opposites. Oh, oh, I did a reading. And you guys know that I talk about so much during my collective messages because they're like an hour or two long. So I'm just sitting there, you know, hitting on a whole, a whole bunch of different subjects. But I remember that I did a reading. Um, I think it happened to be a twin flame reading where it was like, um, you guys are going to be going through like a, like a, a year of, of marrying. So it's going to be like, you went through like a year of like doing your shadow work of, you know, um, going through your initiation, waking up, noticing who, you know, who serves you and who doesn't, right? And then it's like having a year in the dark and then having a year in the light. So it's like the year flips over and it's like a switch. The light flips over and it could, the switch could be meeting this person, right? So in the past, you were in a karmic relationship. Things were all kind of, you know, dark and you were doing your shadow work. You were really, you know, digging through. And then all of a sudden it's like you burst through with the light side and all of a sudden it's like you meet this person, you're doing a bunch of clearing, you're, you know, cleansing out your energy you're how you're going through this rebirth you're, you're getting this initiation through spirit and you're finding the stability with the staff here you find you're finding yourself like really feeling a lot of um a lot of um happiness fulfillment stability protection this person makes you feel very protected yeah so it's definitely so it's something like that so if you've been experienced that this year by next summer which is you know like a year from now by next summer coming back around um, you're going to feel completely different and feel in this total, this total rebirth of your spirit, your birth, rebirth of who you are. Wow. It's beautiful. Absolutely. I claim that. <laughs> oh, okay. Ancestors and remembrance in reverse. 
there's this sense of maybe perhaps maybe perhaps you have lived past lives with this person and maybe you don't remember it at first if it's like dormant locked away inside of you it's like past life memories that over time unlock yeah with this um priest high priestess in reverse you're not exactly it's like coming out of this of the state of not remembering who you are not embracing your the block you know not embracing like blocks inside of yourself like it's like defrosting during this winter time and like coming back yeah exactly coming back to life right and then the spring pops out look there's that death card again transformation absolutely so definitely this fall gonna be going through a major trans a major transformation and coming back around to this like beautiful re-blooming like this re-blooming you know you go through the winter time and it's like this defrost right and as soon as i said that the spring card comes out that's beautiful okay i'm hearing pull it and intensification was was there so transformation it's like you meet this person and a new in a new level of your awakening happens right that definitely happens right we have definitely um we do certain certain things and we walk away from certain things that don't fulfill us we we fulfill certain karmic contracts and then we can come into contact with positive soulmate members that help us heal that help us get over things in our past that help us let go that help push us towards you know that help push us towards this transformation and this rebirth process yeah passion definitely so you're feeling some fiery passion with this person okay i'm hearing that's it yeah you're definitely also uh, um, undoing some kind of hexes or some kind of you know just kind of like dark energy dark karmic energy that was on you and kind of like letting go of those and letting go of all of that energy exactly working through your fears thank you spirit wow really interesting what else do you want to tell us about this person or about this meeting thank you oh wow that came out really quick wow okay so new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins so absolutely <laughs> have faith in your dream so maybe you've been dream like i said you've been dreaming about this person or maybe this person's been dreaming about you or maybe just in general you've been dreaming about having a really healthy relationship with somebody and now you've manifested this into your life it's a new romantic cycle you're very close to achieving your goals right you you keep faith in your dreams keep going keep pushing yourself keep doing your shadow work and keep going through it because you're manifesting this person into your life this is beautiful what else do you want to tell us? What else? What else? You have any other advice or anything you want to tell us about this, about this soul soulmate? Oh my gosh, that popped out so strong. Okay. So, uh, full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. This person could definitely, um, this person could definitely be a Pisces or they could be a, another water sign. Um, um, there could be an air sign or specifically a Libra here in, that's involved in this. And there's definitely like this sense of keep balancing yourself out. Like I was just saying, right? Keep balancing your spirituality and your practicality. And it's making me, every time I think about this, I also think about another card um in my akashic records tarot which i rarely use because it's really powerful and i only use it for very certain for very certain um readings but i haven't been drawn to use it in a minute but it's like a the two worlds card and when you read about it it's, it's basically it says the same thing balancing your spirituality and your practicality balancing and it's about making for some of you it could be literally making a profession out of your spirituality or it could just be being really serious about you know really getting into the spiritual path there's this very much so taking and giving around and around and around um but it's like giving and taking equally right really getting in touch with your spirituality with your with your um with the, with the sign of pisces is very like your intuition like really getting in touch with all of that especially with this falling here under these dreams yeah okay a uh, full moon in Capricorn. So um, this past full moon that just happened yesterday from the time I'm filming this really could have really helped make you feel a lot better. Could You could have woke up and felt like really different or something like that or this person, you know, something like that um, this past moon, this past full moon. Because that's two full moon cards back to back. Oh, and then look, a new moon in Aquarius, right? It was a full moon in Aquarius, right? Bring love into this situation. Definitely. Um, um, full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So definitely. So you, exactly. Thank you, spirit. Surrender, 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 surrender with that full moon energy, right? Absolutely. Bringing in this new beginning, bringing love into the situation, like really bringing love and, and joy and just like happiness and laughter and just like 
this rebirth of yourself back into your life. What is this? Take time out to breathe. So absolutely, definitely. It's definitely going to feel like, oh, like I can breathe because like all of this like darker karmic energy or shadow work is like off of me now. And now I can be like free. Exactly. Balsam I'm in a time for healing. So definitely take advantage, right? The the uh, balsamic moon happens from the um, 10 days, 10 and a half days in between the full moon and the new moon cycle. So definitely you're going to be having a really big healing, a lot of healing happening. So keep manifesting that, okay? Keep manifesting a lot, this end of a new cycle, right? This end of a tough cycle and make sure that you're being practical, that you're finding practical uses for your spirituality to, to, and, and to invest it into your life. Yeah, the energy is gaining momentum, absolutely. So surrender, right? That was the whole, the very first message that I got in my notes was surrender. Wow. Yeah. Some of you definitely could have been coming out of a karmic situation with somebody that you thought that you were going to be in a long-term relationship with, or you could have been in a long-term rela relationship with somebody that you found out was a karmic. I'm talking really fast out of nowhere. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. Newman and Cancer. So absolutely no. This person could be a Cancer. You could be a Cancer. There's definitely a lot of water sign action happening here. But I really feel like it's just like connecting really closely to your spirituality. Um, the, you or this person could be a fast talker because out of nowhere, I'm just talking really fast. I just noticed that. Oh, um, I'm getting like a different language. This person could speak a different language. They could speak Spanish or something like that where they talk or French. I'm hearing French or Spanish or something where they talk a lot faster. So they talk really rapidly um, in their like home language or something. Absolutely. North Node, step out of your comfort zone. All right. You're going to be doing something a little bit different. Like I said, you know, experiencing new things. Um, this is going to be a new type of relationship, a new type of, of, of soulmate that you've never experienced before in your life. And you're going to be like, oh, this is a lot of energy. I've never experienced this, but it's destined. This was destined to happen. This is a destined meeting. This is destined. And there's so much purple, purple and blue here. Like all the cards are purple. Almost all the cards are purple and blue besides one, which is the Capricorn card, which is like the end of this tough cycle. And it's falling here under this death card, which is also kind of like this really like warm color. And it's standing out to me here. So definitely after this transformation, it's like this, you went, through, you, ha you had to go through this death process to issue in this person. Understand that you and your loved ones are safe. You're being protected. Exactly. A fiery climax approaches. So yeah, I'm hearing one more card. Okay. One or two. Uh, one, one to two more cards. We'll see. We'll see what comes out. What else do you want to say about this situation, Spirit? What else do you want to say about this? Um, excuse me. What do you need to release? So definitely, like, in, in this past cycle is what I'm hearing. Like, don't be scared is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it's time to take action. Um... Put your spirituality and, pra and practice that to work is what I'm hearing. Like you've gotten the download, you know what you're supposed to be doing. So just get to work and do it. Okay. Yes. Okay. All these cards fell out, but I'm going to put these back in. But I'm going to take the one card that fell on the floor upright. But I also want to show you this new start. A new start is coming. Oh, just one second, you guys. Sorry about that, you guys. I bet I jumped like my dog kind of scared me. It thundered outside. It thundered and my dog was absolutely convinced that there was somebody at my front door. Like I was like, it was just thunder. Like and she was like, no, somebody's there. I know they're there. So anyway, but what fell on the floor was show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius. So I've definitely felt like this, this last full moon in Aquarius definitely brought up this brand new cycle for you, right? It helped you release I definitely feel like you did a, did your releasing, your, your, your releasing and writing out your letters and doing your gratitudes. And that's brilliant. And that's beautiful. I love that. And this new moon is definitely this uh, full moon. Sorry, this full moon in Aquarius is definitely bringing this situation, like bringing this past situation to an end. Exactly. This is beautiful. Okay, so. Let's pull some tarot cards. I'm feeling drawn to the tarot cards now. Okay. So what do you want to say about this situation? Okay. King of Swords. So I feel like this person is, okay. So I feel like this person, I feel like Spirit wants to tell you about this person so you can help identify them. Um, so this could be you or this person. So definitely it's a King of Swords. It could be an air sign. So uh, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. Yes, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I feel like this person is very blunt, very honest, very forthright. Um, very. Um, this person has like really strong morals. Um, 
I just feel like they're very honest with you about past situations. Like if they did just get a divorce or something like that, they'll just tell you. They'll be like, yeah, I'm, I just got divorced. And, but, you know, they're just very, very honest and forthright. I definitely feel like they just walked away from a situation, five of pinnacles that left them feeling like out in the cold. They could have gotten their heart broken or you could have. So one of the both of you or both of you could be really going through that kind of situation right now. But I really feel like it's talking about this person. What else do you want to say about this person in spirit? No, you want to come out? No. Okay, yeah. So, uh... I definitely some kind of Gemini could be happening here. Or this person could have Gemini in their chart. Um, with this Two of Swords. Um... But this person has definitely made a, a decision. This person is very, um, I'm hearing decisive. Like this person is very decisive. They say what they mean and they mean what they say. So if they say, okay, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, they mean, okay, I'm going to get up and I'll see you tomorrow. Or I'll call you tomorrow. Or uh, no, like I mean what I say. And I feel like this person is very forthright. They're very decisive. They're very kind of just to the point. They're like, yep, this is how it is. And that's how it is. Uh, and this could be how this person sees you or how you see this person. Um, if this person is a man, I feel like they have a very strong kind of um, dad vibe to them. And I don't mean this in a disrespectful way at all. They seem very stable. They seem very um, just kind of just like it is what it is what it is. Um, vic victorious. I feel like this person with, um, with this uh, six of wands here, I feel like this person wants to feel victorious. I feel like this person just with this five of wands right behind it, this person feels victorious. Like they just got up some kind of fight some kind of situation where they were having to like defend themselves or something and now they, they're kind of feeling like free and they're feeling like they just got um they just got out of a very like sticky situation yeah so four of wands they definitely could have just moved recently or they could like i said they could have ended the marriage or something like that but i feel like again this person is very stable again i feel like if maybe you feel like you're on some kind of twin flame journey or something like that this person could feel something similar to that if this person is like a romantic soulmate or something like that. You definitely, or you could end up being married to this person. This person could take it very seriously. Or again, this just keeps coming up again and again and again with this four of wands. Um, four of wands is also a marriage. So you could end up being married to this person or you could meet this person at a marriage or at a wedding at a marriage. Especially if the three, if the three of cups comes up with some kind of celebration. Like, absolutely. Okay, I feel like this person is very creative with the words. Um, I'm hearing poet. This person could be very poetic. They could be a writer, or they could do something where they're really, they're a really good orer. Like, they're, like, they're really good. Uh, um, they're really, like, quick, like, quick with their banter. They're very funny is what I'm feeling. So they're, so they're, um, um, they're very kind of just like uh, they find a very creative way to come up to come up to you and talk to you or they find some way to keep you very interested like it's very interesting conversation even if they're doing small talk you're kind of just like yeah and, and you know it, it doesn't feel like small talk it but it feels like you know it's like if somebody just comes and sits at a table or if you go to a wedding or go to something you know they have assigned seats and this person just happens to be assigned to sitting next to you and you're like hey and they're like hey what's up and you're like yeah well you know i'm this person or that person or how how do you know the bride and the groom and you know this person is kind of like oh you know like saying like little jokes about people around you too and it's like doing little things you're just like sh like oh my gosh like oh my god <laughs> i feel like this person keeps you really entertained especially with their words yeah especially with it with it falling under here under this king of swords i feel like this person is very smart very very smart very very like quippy very just like <laughs> you know and you're kind of just like wow like okay or if this person comes up to you and is trying to spit game, this person does it very well, you know? Um, definitely. So, okay, I just keep getting this over and over again. So, you know, it is what it is with this uh, five of cups in reverse. Um, I've made a decision to be happy. I did, this person made a decision really quickly or really uh, recently to do something to, maybe they're just like, I decide to be happy. Or this is like, per, this person's like, I choose happiness. Also with the five of wands, uh, not five of wands, but with the five of cups, in, in reverse, it can also be like um, a, a, an unhappy marriage. Uh, the five of cups in reverse can also be an unhappy marriage or just walking away from something that really didn't serve them. So this person has made a decision really recently to walk away. Maybe they've started a health journey. They've started a spiritual path. They've walked away or gotten out of a, or just started abusive relationship. So, oh no, this person could have, you know, and I, and I don't feel like it's too recently. I feel like it's been a decent amount of time, but it's still, uh, 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 it's still like a, this person could still be going through the divorce procedures or they could still just kind of be kind of like uh, recovering from uh, dealing with 
with a very unhappy relationship that they just got out of. And so they, you know, it could be both of you feeling like I'm not really exactly looking for something like that, but I feel like this person like meets you and they're just like, and you start talking and they start talking to you and they're just like, wow, like, wow, <laughs> like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> And with this page, uh, a page of swords and the five of wands, which I just talked about, right? This page of swords and five of wands, they just learned something. Um, also, but this five of wands can be that back and forth, back and forth. I feel like the two of you have a really good rapport with each other. Like back, that's the word I was looking for, rapport. The two of you kind of, you know, this person's like, oh, like this. And you're like that and like this and like that, like boop, 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 boop. And they like, you keep up with them. Like, um, and they really like that. They also feel like you're like, you know, a lot, like they also feel like with this page of swords here, right. They definitely feel like you have done a lot of research. Like you're really interesting. Like what you have to say is really interesting. And they're just like, well, how do you do that? Or how do you do this? Or maybe, maybe you do tarot cards. Maybe you do spiritual stuff like that. And they're just like, well, I've never met somebody that does that. Tell me, tell me everything about you. Tell me everything about what's going on between, you know, introduce me to your world. And then maybe this, all this person also does something that you find really interesting interesting and you're just kind of like How, what do you do again and you're like and they're like oh I do this or that or I do research or I, I I'm in the middle of doing like a writing a grant and I you know and I and I blah 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 I don't know you know um this person also depending on your you guys age this person could also be a student um, this person, I'm hearing this person could be some kind of advocate. So they could be some kind of like lawyer or some kind of advocate where they like fight for social, uh, social, uh, fight against social injustice. Uh, maybe there's some kind of humanitarian and they do humanitarian work and you're just kind of like, wow, like <laughs> you find this person extremely interesting and they find you extremely interesting. Yeah. And again, with that seven of swords in reverse, they're very upfront, very, just very, it is what it is. Or, or they feel like you're that way. I feel like the two of you, okay, I'm going to pull this. I feel like the two of you are both that way. You're very, very, very honest and very just kind of like, oh, this is what it is. They feel like you're, like you're a very upfront person. And it's like, what you say is what you mean. And that's how they feel too. So that, so I feel like they feel like you, the two of you kind of click on that where you're just like, well, you know, I feel like you're just very, very much so just who you are, you know? Oh my gosh. So much just popped out. Yeah. Um, with this eight of cups in reverse, I feel like this person's like, I don't, like, I don't want to walk away from you. I want to leave. It's like, they don't want to leave the event or like this encounter without getting to know you without making some kind of like foundational, like, oh, I have to get like they're to themselves to try. I have to get this person's number or I, I have, you know, I have got to get in to where I can contact this person again. Like I've got, I've got to make my move on this person. Like I have to, like, I just feel like this connection between the two of us. And I just feel like I've got to make my move. I've got to make my move. I do not want to walk away from this. Yeah. And I feel like even, I feel like it's very possible that this person could have had some other plans. Like maybe, like maybe if it is like you, um, um, like, like I said, you meet this person, like if you go, if it's not the whole like wedding situation or the whole event, if it's, it, if it is, you just running into each other at a coffee shop or something like that, this person is like canceling their plans or, you know, you guys just sit there and just end up talking to each other for hours or something like that. And you were like, didn't you have some plans? And they were like, it wasn't important. It wasn't anything. Even if it was important, they're just like, nah, I'm just chilling. <laughs> nah, I'm chilling here with you. <laughs> with this... <laughs> I feel like this person really makes you laugh a lot or like you're kind of just like okay this guy's kind of this person's very very much so like a, a jokester it's so weird because they are very they're very serious and very forthright very honest but they're also very like jokey at the same time it's funny maybe they look really serious maybe they look really stern maybe you or this person has kind of like resting bitch face or something like that you know where they look really serious and then they turn around and start talking and you're just like oh you're nothing like you look like you're just like standing like sitting over there like and then you go up and talk to them and just like oh hey like yeah la, la, la. you're just like what <laughs> like you're you're interesting there's something about them there's also something about their face um that you find very captivating um yeah thank you yeah um, it's something about like you've never met this person before and there's something about them that makes you really drop your guard or this person really wants to make you drop your guard and not in like a manipulative way. This person is just like they want to break you out of your shell. And they just want you to feel comfortable. They, they don't want you to feel like you have to be defensive. Yeah. The world in reverse. 
from here and I don't want to leave. I heard, uh, I'm, I'm hearing, I don't want to go back home. So with this world card in reverse, it's very much so like travel. It's like, I, yeah. Cause like the world card upright can be like a brand new cycle or it can actually literally mean like actual physical travel. And it's like, I want to stay. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to go back home or I don't want to, I don't want to leave this circumstance. I don't want to leave this, this situation. So you or this person could definitely be traveling on vacation or something like that. Maybe like if you do uh, come in, uh, like come, maybe you come into town for a wedding or something like that. Somebody that you know is getting married and you go and then they're like some kind of family that's in town, like visiting or something like that. And they're just like, I don't want to go back home. Like, how do I want to stay here with you. Like, oh, that's a lot. I'm going to put that in. Wait, what is, what was that? Okay. The star card, the ten of pentacles in reverse, the fool in the upright, and the king of pentacles in, in reverse. I feel like this person feels like their foundation is shook after they meet you. Like they meet you and you're like this bright star and they're just like almost blinded by you. Like they're just like, wow, who is this person? Like how have I never met them before? I re they really make me want, it's like whatever I was invested in before, it's like if this person had like a house or a home or whatever it was they were invested in, right? Remember, it's like, I don't want to go back home. Like what they want to give up, whatever it was that they were doing before to, to really invest and have like this new beginning with you. No, I don't feel like this person is like married or something like that. And they're like, oh, I want to leave my wife for you or anything like that. I just feel like this person definitely had some kind of something that they were invested in before. And now that they've met you, they don't, they don't want to invest in it in, anymore. I'm hearing a business, some kind of business, possibly. Um, with the seven of pentacles. This person's like, I'm I'm willing to wait. This person feels very patient, very much so like, I'm willing to wait. Like, remember what I said in the beginning, like maybe one or both of you is like, like, nah, I'm not, I'm not really looking for to be with somebody right now. And this person's like, I'm willing to wait. Like, I'm willing to put in the work. I'm really, I see this having potential. I'm, I'm willing to wait for, like, my seeds to grow. I, I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm willing to take it slow. And I, I definitely see some potential here. This person's very patient. This person's definitely, with this falling here under, under this, uh, this four of wands, this person could definitely be like, I see a lot of potential here, so I'm willing to take it slow. I'm willing to stick around until you feel like you're ready today or like you feel... Um, it, it's like this person wants to show you that, um, that they're worth the investment or something like that. So this person could have a little bit of codependency that they still need to heal, but I definitely feel like they feel like your energy is extremely healing to them. Okay. That just flew out of there. I think that was the Knight of Swords. That's, that's funny that it flew out of there. It's like so crazy with all that force. Oh, actually, it's the Knight of Cups. It's falling sideways or... Yeah, sideways. I'm feeling very sideways. Yeah. So I'm really feeling like, yeah, you're kind of like, should I take this cup? Should I not? This person this person might kind of feel like, ugh, like, for some reason, they feel like out of your league or something like that. They're just like, should I offer a cup to them? Should I not? Should I shoot my shot? Should I not? Yeah, I don't know if this person, I think this person feels a little bit of insecurity inside them. And it's just like, I don't know if this person would want me. And I feel, I feel it's because they feel like they're so in awe of you. I feel like, I feel like they, normally they're a very blunt, very honest, very like social person. Like obviously they're a very social person with that knight of wands there. They're very like capable and very like capable of like keeping up conversation and doing this or whatever. But I feel like they feel like you're not ready or they feel like you're, you're not looking for love, right? That queen, that queen, if you identify as being the feminine energy, the feminine energy here feels like, I, I don't know if I'm ready for love or I don't know, I don't know about this with you. And they feel kind of like this kind of. I don't want to say like a challenge, but it's kind of like they feel like you would be fine with being friends with them, but they're not sure if you would actually want to be in a relationship with them. Yeah, with this the three of wands, they're not, they don't know. They feel like, they feel like it's worth the investment. Like, okay, like maybe this person feels like, maybe you even express to them, I'm not really ready to date right now. And they're like, okay, I'm willing to put in the work and just, you know, kind of be your friend and, and, and you know, and 
prove to you that I can be around. Like, you can let your guard down around me. It's okay, you know? Like, I'm willing to put in the work to stay, to wait until, until you're ready to invest in something. Or maybe you're like, you know, oh, I, you know, I just got out of a divorce. I don't know. I'm not trying to make you a rebound. I don't, I don't want to be your rebound. And so they're just like, well, if you want to take your time and just kind of get to know each other and date around and do things like that, I'm totally willing. Yeah, because you're the empress. This person sees you as the empress. They see you. Yeah. And they're just like tower card. They're just like, wow, meeting you makes me, makes me want to tear down and, and, and re, rebuild my foundation. Wow. That justice card in reverse. The tower in reverse, the justice card in reverse, followed by the eight of swords. What is this, spirit? With the four of pinnacles in reverse. There's definitely some things in their life that they feel like they need to let go of. Some karma. Meeting you definitely feels like they're just like, okay, there's some things in my life that I need to let. Maybe it's those codependency issues that we were talking about, right? Yeah, because you make them happy. You make them so incredibly happy, the sun card. They're just like, oh my gosh, I could totally see myself being with you. Yeah. But they're really worried that you're going to reject them. Like, yeah, exactly. With this nine of pentacles, maybe you don't, you know, they're just like, uh, maybe you really express to them, no, I'm just ready to be single right now. Like, I, I'm just enjoying myself. I'm living life. It's really fun. And you might not even be kind of like, you know, maybe they're just talking. You're just talking and you're sitting beside this person. You're kind of laughing and they're like, wow, I'd really like to shoot my shot at this person. And you're, and you just in, in the process of talking, you're just like, yeah, I'm really happy being single right now. I'm building my business or, I, or I'm building this and I'm, you know, I'm finding myself and discovering myself and it's so beautiful. And I'm just enjoying my, my beautiful single life. And they're kind of like, but I want to shoot my shot. <laughs> they're just like, I really want to shoot my shot. But you have kind of expressed that you're not looking for that right now. And I want to respect that you don't want that. But like, I don't want you to get away. Like, I don't, I don't want to miss this opportunity to kind of, you know, be like, oh, maybe we should hang out sometime. Or yeah, you know, that's really interesting. You know, like, I found you really cool. Like, maybe we should exchange numbers. And so they're kind of like, Oh, like, is, is this person going to see me, see this shooting my shot? Because I want to shoot my shot, but I don't want them to shoot me down. But also, like, I want to respect the fact that they say they don't want to date anybody right now. But, like, I feel like I don't want this person to get away because, oh, my God, like, this person is just, like, so beautiful. Like, they might even tell themselves they could, like, see themselves, like, being married to you, having a baby with you. Like, they're just, like what is this? Like, I feel, you know, it's, like, for, love at first sight. Like, they're just, like. Oh my gosh, like I could be with you for the rest of my life. And I really feel like it shocks them. It shocks them, right? It's like this tower moment, like I and I, you know, and it there's this sense of there's this sense of injustice. Cause maybe like I say, maybe they're just like, of course. I go out of town or I'm visiting, you know, I'm on vacation visiting somewhere halfway around the world or I'm, I just come down here because my cousin's getting married and I live three states away. And of course I come down here to this wedding and I just happen to sit beside the girl or the boy of my dreams. And it's like, Oh, like, are you serious spirit? Like, mm. and I meet them and they're kind of like, I'm enjoying life and I don't want to be with anybody right now. And you're, and they're kind of like, what? Because like, because. <laughs> Be careful, son. Uh, my cat almost dumped over a glass. But it's like, I can't believe this. Like, of course, that's my luck. And there's kind, and they're kind, there's kind of like this, like, oh, like, of course, like, right person, wrong time, right? Or this four, four of cups, like, of course, like, uh. So there's kind of this sense of like, I can't believe the timing of this. You know, but at still, they're very, they're, they still feel very grateful. They're just like, wow, like you're such an amazing person. I'm so grateful that I met you, but damn, like, why can't you live in my city or why can't you actually live here or why, you know, damn, like, oh, or why can't you be single or why can't I be sing a single right now? I don't feel like it's, I feel they feel single. If anybody, it feels like you could possibly be in a relationship with somebody else. But if you are, I feel like you're in a relationship with a karmic person. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, I don't, I'm not juggling right now. I'm not juggling this. This person's like, oh, wow, lovers. Like, I see myself being with you. Yeah, I see this new, st this fresh new start that I could have with you with this full card here. 
right? There's the star card again. Absolutely. You are like this brilliant star to this person. And it makes them like feel like, uh, it makes them feel like it kind of shakes their foundation. Like they kind of thought they knew where their life was going. They knew what they were doing. They knew who they were. And then they met you and, and they were just like, oh, I don't know shit. <laughs> My life is different. <laughs> My life is different now. Oh, wow. Uh, Wow. Uh, Emperor. The Emperor card came out. Yes, in the upright. It kind of came out kind of sideways and then it slid and it kind of slid almost upright. But I was like, upright. This person is like, definitely. So there definitely is some codependency, some, um, some devil issues in this person's life. They're just like, oh, I'm ready to let go of that. I'm ready to let go of that. And I'm ready to become this emperor. Yeah. So maybe this person thought, maybe this person is the one that's like, I just got out of a marriage, you know, I, I or I just got out of this relationship. I'm going to enjoy my single life. You know, I'm going to be out there just talking and having a good time flirting, you know, and then all of a sudden they meet you and they're just like, that's my wife. <laughs> I didn't think I, or like I just heard somebody say, I didn't think I was going to get married again. And they're just like, Wow. Yeah. But there definitely is some devil energy in their life that they're kind of like getting over, getting getting rid of. But wow. Absolutely. Okay, I just got this message out of nowhere that if you do, if the two of you do have a kid together or this person could have could have a fire sign child. If this person does have children with this past person or if this person has, they could have a fire sign child, specifically a Leo. Or the two of you could get married and have, um, if you have children, you could have a son. And, it could, and this person could be a fire sign. Hmm. That was very random information. What else do you have to say? Switch the decks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like this person was like, nah. Or this could this could definitely have been a person that's like maybe this person was the type of person who's like, I don't want to get married, you know, or something like that. Maybe you are, maybe the two of you, and they're just like, I didn't know that this is what I wanted. I didn't know this was my wish fulfillment until it showed itself to me. And then you were right there in my face and I was just like, What? Definitely. So separation, you definitely new love absolutely so this depth this person definitely could be going through some kind of separation and they're like look i'm not you know i wasn't i didn't go to this wedding or i didn't go to this place looking for somebody to be with but wow i found you and now i don't want you to get away wow unrequited love yeah so this person could definitely feel feel like maybe you wouldn't really want to be with them but they want to flirt with you out of my league i'm hearing somebody say out of my league so one or both of you are, are just like this other person's out of my league you could both feel like that you could be both like uh, i don't know if this person would want me <laughs> spirit trying to tell you you deserve love though you are lovable you deserve love or maybe you felt that way you know maybe maybe this person kind of took a hit to their confidence because they, you know, they just got out of the relationship or you just got out of relationship or something like that. I'm feeling like the both of you, one are you, one of you, I feel like just got out of a marriage, like not just, but it's like recently within this year has gone through some kind of divorce and you're kind of in this, maybe this person was kind of just like feeling kind of down, not feeling like inside on the outside. They were, you know, just being their normal, like, haha, like laughing self or whatever. And then, um, you know, on the inside, they were kind of feeling like, you know, maybe they felt a little defeated. Like they thought this person that they married was going to be their one and only. And then they, then they got married, they got divorced and they're kind of just a little, kind of a little down about finding somebody else to be with. Then they find you and they're just like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I didn't think I would find somebody else that I wanted to, that I wanted to love, but I feel like I like, I love this person. Like what? Like not, they're not like, yes, I'm in love with you. But it's literally when they look back, they're just like, I was in love with you that very first time that we met each other like I was in love with you from that time forward like I knew I was heart to heart conversations like you're definitely going to be sitting down and having a lot of heart to heart just like very honest candid open conversations with this person and they're just going to be like damn like you are so cool trust definitely 
So one or, one or both of you could definitely be dealing with some trust issues and be like, I don't know if the situation is going to work out or something like that. You know, there's definitely both of you have dealt with a past like romantic situation that's made you feel like you have some trust issues when it comes to like being in a relationship with somebody. Engagement. So you, the two of you could end up getting engaged together and healing family issues so definitely this person definitely if they are deal, if they are dealing with some kind of breakup or something like that they could definitely be dealing with family issues or tr trust issues could have run deep for the both of you both of you could have had trust issues dealing with like love and things like that from your child childhood that could have been that shadow work that you were working through right what else do you want to say about this person's spirit or about the situation Stay optimistic. Exactly. Stay optimistic about your love life. The two of you need to stay optimistic. You need to know, like, wow. Like, maybe, you know, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Exactly. Romance. True love. Yes. This is a romance of a lifetime. I told you, right? Like, love at first sight. Like, the two of you are just like, wow. Like... I feel like one of you is more enamored by the other. And I really feel like it's the masculine. I really feel like the masculine is like, I'm in love with this person. And the feminine's kind of like, I don't know. But you do like this person, but you're kind of like, I don't know. Mm, maybe. Past life relationship. So definitely look at that. Reconciliation and past life relationship right there, back to back. So you definitely, it's like with that remembrance card, like over time, the two of you are like, oh, we've, we've had past lives together. We've been with each other before in past lives. Or maybe you talk about that. You know, maybe you're the type of person that talks about, you know, maybe you are a spiritual person and you believe in soulmates, you believe in past life, reincarnation and things like that. And you start talking about that and this person's just like, mm-hmm. Spirit wants you to know it's safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love this person. It's okay. You can trust this person. You can stay out, stay optimistic about your love life. Just let the situation unfold naturally. You know, let go of any kind of control issues or anything like that that you have. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. So pay attention to your own red flags and pay attention to the red flags inside this person. Remember what I said. This person is definitely dealing with a little, letting go of a little bit of more devil energy. And I definitely feel like they're dealing with some codependency. But they could be dealing with some codependency that they're kind of healing from from their past relationship. You know, a lot of times when we're when we're in when we're in toxic or we're in unhealthy relationships, we don't even realize how much energy we pick up from the other person. You know, we don't realize how being around in that relationship with somebody that makes you pick up little things, right? Like if this other person is emotionally controlling or emotionally abusive, or if they kind of like um um emotionally deceptive, you pick up those little things, and and, and you know it takes you some time to take some take it takes you some time once you're out of that relationship to realize those things about yourself and be like oh I've picked up all these little emotional cues or these uh these trust issues from this relationship and I need to work through them I need to heal them and I feel like meeting you makes this person realize they need to work through some of their issues they need to work through some of their codependency issues oh yeah chemistry Definitely. There's a magnetic, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, spirit. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. And there's definitely, there's so much chemistry there in between the two of you. And you guys are just like, wow, this, this is intense. There's a lot of chemical attraction, but like the two of you are very like physically attracted to each other. Exactly. <laughs> yes look heart to heart conversations about releasing your ex so definitely the two of you could definitely talk like like i said if this person just got out of a marriage or this person just got out of a toxic relationship they're going to be very candid and honest with you about it definitely oh okay wait where did that go i thought it flipped did that did that flip calling in your soulmate i thought didn't i just show you that Yes. Okay. It did flip calling in your soulmate. <laughs> I was like, where did this card go? But it just it threw me off because look here, soulmate, right? This person is definitely your soulmate calling it, doing all of this shadow work and doing all of this. You're just like, wow, uh, really releasing your ex, you know, it's time has come to clear your energy, clearing out your energy and releasing your ex, having the heart, heart to heart conversations is definitely calling in your soulmate. You guys have been doing this work and boom, your soulmate's here with you. Wow. And definitely here children. Like I said before, this person or you could end up having children together. You could end up being married together. I really feel like you could. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. And just, you know, let go of your control issues. Let go of your control issues. Just allow the situation to unfold naturally. Maybe, maybe one or both of you, you know, like I said, one of you is like, 
I'm not really into this. And they're kind of just like, and, and spirit's like, relax, okay? Flirt. Be lighthearted. Have a good time, you know? If this person is just kind of, you know, flirting with you and having, just allow yourself to have a good time. It's okay, you know? Like, just allow the situation to happen. You know, that doesn't mean you have to go home with them or anything like that. But, you know, just allow, if this person wants to get your number and you're really feeling them and you've had a good time, give them your number. It's okay. Relax. It's safe for you to love, okay? You know, exactly. Give this relationship a chance. It's okay. It's okay. I know you've been hurt in the past and it's given you some trust issues, but it's safe for you to love now. It's okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, so definitely. You this person, you or this person could already have children or you could end up having children with this person for real though. Yeah, and flirt. Again, they're on the back. Flirt. It's okay. Allow, allow this to happen, okay? Okay. Want to get some messages? I want to get some messages. Let's get some messages from this person. What you got to say, soulmate? What you got to say? We both made mistakes, so definitely the two of you, right? Uh, those heart-to-heart -heart conversations about releasing your ex, a thousand years wouldn't be enough time, so they're just like, I could sit here and just talk to you and talk to you and talk to you and spend more and more time with you, and definitely with this past life relationship, this definitely could be, you know, like a past life soulmate relationship with this person, and they're just like a thousand years with you, that's why I manifested you back into my life again, right? I'm learning to think outside of my box, so maybe that could be you or them. Maybe, like I said, like keep keeping an open mind. This person might not look or sound or or act like the person you thought that you might end up with, but this person is your soulmate. Just relax about it. It's okay. I'm so happy I'm when I'm with you. Exactly. I'm so happy when I'm with you, and life with you is so amazing. So you have a really good time with this person. Okay, run, don't walk. And I'm hearing run, run to me. Run, don't walk. Like come towards me. Come towards me. I love our kid. Look at that. I love our kids. So absolutely, you could definitely end up having kids with this person or this person could already have kids. Yeah. Yes. Right. Or yes, you could get married to this person. You could end up saying yes to this person. Right. I love your smile. So this person's definitely going to compliment you on your smile. They're going to be like, you have such a gorgeous smile. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I say? Right. Will you marry me? Absolutely. So this person is gonna know pretty quickly. They're just like, I could definitely get married to this this person. I just want I just want you to be happy. Right? They're just like, I want to put a smile on your face. If you have such a beautiful smile, like I don't want you to be unhappy. Date night? Yeah. So date night, this person could could for sure ask you out on a date. Uh, I wish I could take it back. So maybe this person says something that kind of makes you kind of turns you off or you're kind of like, what? Like, okay, no. And they're like, oh no, wait, let me take it back. Or maybe like with this, we both made mistakes. Like, I wish I could um, have met you sooner. So I'm hearing like somebody say like, oh God, why couldn't I have met you like five years ago? Or why couldn't I have met you 10 years ago? Like, why couldn't have I met you sooner? I wish I could take back, you know, being in relationships with other past person, uh, other past people so that I didn't have kind of like my trust issues or things like that. I wish I hadn't have chose you know, that karmic relationship to be with. I just want to be happy. Exactly. I mean, I just want to be happy, man. You know, but maybe that's the decision. And like you talk to this person, right? And they're like, I just want, you know, I just want to be happy. And you're like, yeah, me too. Like, I'm just making the choices I need to, to like, you know, make myself better, make myself a better person. Uh, back rubs and bubble baths and yeah. <laughs> Look at that coming out together. Back rubs and back rubs and bubble baths and yes, I'll rub your feet and more. So definitely. So this person definitely could um could really like like giving massages. Oh, this person could be a masseuse. They could be a masseuse. Ooh, that would be so awesome. <laughs> that would be so awesome. <laughs> like absolutely. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, a ton of this. We are so abundant. So definitely, there's definitely like an abundant of laughter and fun and happiness. And when they're around you, they just feel happy. They just find themselves like smiling. Oh yes, I just said this. I'm making the changes I need to make in order to get to you. Right, exactly, right? Like this person is going through some changes, going through their shadow work and stuff like that too, so that the two of you can eventually meet. I've never wanted anyone the way I want you. Look at this, you guys. I never wanted like, wow, I've never like, Wow, I knew I loved you the, when I saw you that day. So didn't I say that? Did I not say that this person is like love at first sight, right? 
love at first sight. I have never wanted anyone the way I want you. Like, wow. Fall. So again, like we were saying earlier, this could definitely happen in the fall. Okay. Every day is a blessing with you. So this person feels so grateful that you're in their life and they feel so grateful for being around you and having the, this experience with you. Like every day with you is amazing. I wish I could tell you how I feel. So like I said before, like you might express to this person, well, I'm not looking to date anyone right now. And they're kind of just like, oh, I wish I could tell you because I, I want you like so bad. Uh, I want to grow with you. So they definitely can see things going somewhere with you. Absolutely. Do you want to you wanna, to bring us a few more messages? What's a few more messages? Okay. I could love you better than your ex. So absolutely. This person is like, you and this person both are like, fuck your ex. Like, forget that person in the past. Forget them. Release them. Let go of it. You know what? And you could be sitting there talking about past. No, you could be a very open, candid person. It's like, yes, I've dealt with this or I've dealt with that, you know, in the past. And I don't want to be that person anymore, you know? Like, I, you know, I, I want to break out of that. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be held down, you know? Like, I'm just really enjoying being single right now because, I, you know, I maybe you're the type of person that doesn't shy away from being like, yes, I was in an abusive karmic relationship, you know? And I wanted to just kind of let this go. And now I'm feeling so much better being single and just feeling just loving life and everything is going so well and this person is just sitting there think, listening to you like who would treat you like that who would treat a person so beautiful and so talented and so like who would treat like that person's a loser like forget them baby I can treat you better than your ex like I can love you so much better than your ex ever did please believe that Yes, I can't wait to kiss you. So this person's just like, oh man, I want to kiss you. I want to kiss her so bad or kiss him so bad. I want to be by your side, but I can't right now. Yes, this person is just like, it's just not quite time for us to meet yet. Like I wish this person energetically is like, I know you're out there. I wish I could be by your side right now, but it's not quite time for us to meet yet. Oh my gosh, that is a big chunk. Is there any... I'm going to read this chunk. Is there any other messages that you want to say? Anything else you want to say? No, I'm hearing now. Okay, ending it with, I love our kids again. So definitely this person could, like I said, this person could definitely see the two of you having kids together. I can't wait to meet you. Didn't I just say that? Absolutely. I can't wait to meet you. Um, you see past my mask. So this person feels like you see past any kind of like ego mask or anything like that. Like I said before, right? Like this person is like really happy go lucky on the outside and they're very like quippy and like, you know, ha 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 ha. But you're like, yeah, but I can see you've been hurt before, haven't you? And it, but it's okay. You know, like you're getting better and I can feel your energy is changing and you feel, you know, you feel like you're doing really good and blah, blah, blah. And this person's just like, damn, like, but it's also like, like, I want to take off my mask around you. Like, I don't feel like I have to pretend. Like, this person might feel like they have to kind of pretend around other people, but they feel like they can just open up and be very open and honest with you about who they are and how they feel about things. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't even look down, but nobody sees me like you do, right? Right, exactly. Like, wow, nobody has seen past my mask like you do. Like, that's crazy. Like, Wow. And exactly, like I said, keep an open mind, right? Keep an open mind about who this person is, about what they look like, what they do. There's something about this. And it could literally be that the fact that they're just like, oh, I just got divorced and you're like, no. Maybe they're divorced and they have kids and they have, you know, like, you know, ex-wife issues and things like that. And you're just like, I don't think that's any kind of, you know, I'm not trying to get involved with something like that right now. But spirit is encouraging you to keep an open mind about this person. There is something about them. It's just going to be very untraditional to anybody else you've ever dated before. It could be their age. It could be like, you know, their past. It could be the fact that they have kids. It could be, I don't know. It could be the, their looks. It could be, you know, oh, or it could be like, right, like this person's out of town. Like you're just like, I don't do long distance relationships, you know, but spirit is telling you to keep an open mind about this person. But there is something about them that's just going to kind of make you be like, like, I'm really attracted to you. You seem really cool. You're really funny. You made me like, cat, like laugh all night, but but you live like two states away, but like, but you don't live here. I'm just visiting and I'm not even from here. And how are we going to make this work? Like what's really, you know, Oh, I don't know, you know? Um, but this, but you are just right to me. So this person thinks that you are just, you are so perfect to them. Like they're just like, wow, I have searched for a person just like you. Like, gosh, why couldn't I have met you sooner? Right. <laughs> What did I just say? You are not my usual type, but I love it, right? 
So either you or this person, and there's just something about the two of you, it's like very opposites attract sort of type thing, where it's just like, you are not my normal type, but I am really attracted to you, but I don't know. And they could kind of feel that same way about you. You know, they could be like, oh, like I normally don't date somebody that's as young as you, or maybe they've never dated somebody um, that's, you know, with this tarot cards and stuff. Maybe they've never dated somebody that has this, this spirituality like you do. Um, you're, there's something very different about you and why they find it very captivating. They're like, Ooh, but the two of there's something about this that makes the two of you kind of want to work it out right there's just that intense chemistry that intense connection to where you're just like yes <laughs> you woke me up so definitely this person feels like like i said earlier right this person had some devil energy or had some codependency or things in their life and, and meeting you is like a trigger for them to be like yeah no i don't want to deal with that shit anymore you know, no, there's some, the, maybe there's still some little ways that I need to grow up, some little habits that I picked up that I need to get rid of. And yeah, this person just feels like, wow, like you could even wake this person up to being on a spiritual journey. Like, I feel like this person is waking up on their own to being on their spiritual journey and whether or not they knew it or not, they were doing their shadow work. They were dealing with their traumas. They could have been seeing a counselor or going to a therapist and kind of like pushing themselves beyond the limits of the way they were raised, um, making themselves right. Like I'm, I'm, what is it? What was it that it said? It's like, I'm pushing myself. I'm learning how to think outside of my box, right? It's like this person could have been very traditional, and the way that they were thinking about relationships or about things and they meeting you definitely changes um it's there's definitely something it's like it's like when when somebody asks you or asks this person about you it's like you'd be like yeah i never would have saw myself dating somebody like that but god like they're just great like i love it like it's amazing they're so they're they're new and they're fresh and i've never met anybody like them and i just yeah. And when people, it's like, well, what do they do or who are they? And they describe and they describe you to people or, or you describe them to people and people are like, what? Like, um, OK, like, yeah. But it's like when people see the two of you together and they see your relationship and they see they feel the energy between the two of you, they're just like, yeah, like I, I see why you like this person. It's like it's like they it's like once they get around you and they see the two of you together or they just meet you and they're just like, oh, yeah. You are literally exactly the type of person. This this person is literally exactly the type of person that you needed. Like, wow. Like, especially with like, I'm seeing like two, like two females talking to each other. And it's like, maybe it's like the first time you're like your friends or something like that are meeting this person. And it's like, I, I, I see somebody coming up to you being like, oh my God, like, I never would have saw you being with somebody back like this, but oh my gosh, wow, like the two of you are so great. Like you seem so happy, like this is so beautiful. Like your friends and your family are just both just like, oh, you're so happy. Like it's literally like, I feel like I wanna cry right now. Like there's like, I see this person makes you so happy and, and, and it's just like, wow. Like I just see it. Like I, I can just see the two of you together. Like I can see the two of you just fit together so perfectly and you're just obviously meant to be with each other. But it's like in a thousand years, like nobody would have ever put the two of you together, but you just beat each other and it, it just clicks. It just is what it is. Oh, I didn't even see this very last one. Can we see other people? So that could be you or that could be them. Like I was saying before, right? It's like you could, you or them could definitely have been like, hey, I'm just in my single zone right now. You know, like I'm, I'm keeping my options open. I didn't exactly want to get tied down to just one person. So there's definitely like this sense of maybe or maybe one or the both of you could have both been on the same level and you could could both be like, man, I'm just enjoying my freedom. I'm single. I'm happy. I'm thriving. Like it's beautiful. And then you meet this person. And you're like, I didn't want to exactly get in a relationship right now. And I, or, or maybe you're dating around, maybe you're dating kind of like going on dates with other people and doing stuff. And you're kind of like, uh, like, yeah, I was kind of dating this person, but then you go to this event and you meet this person and you're like, not like dating, but you know, like going on dates. Like maybe you're getting out there or they were getting out there and kind of going on dates with some people or, you know, kind of maybe thinking about starting to date somebody and then they met you and they were like, like, I'm kind of already kind of dating this other person, but like, not like in a like official relationship dating this, this another person, but it's like, oh man, like I kind of want to keep my options open, but there's just something about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Like, but that girl, that person that I met, like, I can't stop thinking about him. Like, I don't, you know, I kind of want to see other people. I kind of want to keep my options open, but not really. Like, 
Yeah, but I feel like one of you is more like that than the other. One of you is kind of a little more like, I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready to settle down quite yet. And one of you is like, I could totally, I could get married to this person. Like I could see myself being with this person. I'm like, yeah, holy crap. I, I think I'm in love with them. <laughs> like, I know, and, I, and like, I, you know, it's like, I don't know. Like, I'm not like jumping into it too quickly. I'm not, I'm not, you know, like I need to get to know them first and, and take the time getting to know them like that seven of pentacles, right? Let's take the time investing, getting to know each other. But, you know, and, and it's cool if we're still kind of like dating other people and things like that. But like, I don't know, like, the, uh, I think this could be it. But like, I don't know. Like, oh, wow. Okay, so let's wrap this up with some signs and synchronicities. So let's wrap this up and see some kind of signs that you might see when you're going to come in contact with this person. Or just like some uh, final messages that spirit might have for you. So do you have any kind of like signs? Cardinal. <laughs> Cardinal, deep soul connection union. Exactly, right? Absolutely. So the two of you have like this really instant like deep soul connection with each other. Okay. Archangel Gabriel. So definitely you feel called to this person. Um, messenger, you are being divinely guided. Listen carefully to the messages. Exactly. And I feel definitely you're being divinely guided to meeting this person and to doing the things that you need to do and the work that you need to do now to meet this person. Like the, it's definitely like this circumstance where it's like, okay, you have to do your work and then you have to do this and then you have to do that. And then you have to accept the invitation and go to this place or, you know, something like that where the two of you, like, the, like things are working out in the background so that the two of you can end up meeting but it's like you know you got to make choices and you got to do things to get there right kundalini awakening the great awakening so definitely you meet this person and you definitely go through a, a great awakening like a rebirth um i feel like especially after you have after you are become sexually active with this person yeah oh yeah fire magic so that passion fire kept coming up again and again and that candle fire magic kept coming up purification so definitely especially with that kundalini awakening right it's like this bur like that burning that that lighting of fire inside of the two of you that you're just like oh wow like yeah and i think the def definitely the two of you are going through a purification of your energy right now definitely like shedding old karmic cycles and things and letting go letting go, go of those things This is so beautiful, you guys. I'm so excited. Shell, listen closely. There is a message. So definitely. Um, I heard beach. So this could happen at the beach. You could be at the beach. You can meet this person or this person. Could, um, this person could live at the beach. Uh, this person could have some kind of shells. They could wear some kind of like shells on them, some kind of shell necklace or shell something, some kind of shell jewelry. Uh, they could, okay, they could have some kind of like uh, shirt with like a shell pattern or something on it. Or you could, I don't know. There's something about sh about shells here as well. Um, I just got this person could do something with shells. Like they could do some kind of like diving or something like that. I just heard. 505, the, cha uh, the changes that are happening now will usher in new opportunities into your life. Embrace your new beginnings. Exactly what I was just saying, right? Like things that are happening right now are setting this up or setting up the two of you being able to come into contact with each other. Earth magic, grounding. So definitely get grounded and um, get ready. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Get grounded and get ready, okay? Okay. Uh, 483. Uh, the divine is sending balance into your life, right? That grounding. Um, you are attracting abundance. Let go of what does not serve you. So absolutely. Beautiful. The divine is sending you ground, uh, balance and grounding into your life. Absolutely. And, and with that staff that came out in the very beginning with the witch's wisdom, right? That stability. Absolutely. So the two of you are going through a lot of, I feel like you're like at the end of karmic cycles. And then the two of you are, are both going to be, when you come together and you, and you kind of like start talking to each other, you're going to see that a lot of things that are happening in your lives, like lined up where the same things were happening to the both of you at once. So maybe the both of you got out of, uh, you know, karmic relationships at once. And then you kind of started working on yourself, doing your shadow work, going through your dark night of the soul. And then the two of you may be like, like started a new business or not to, you know, maybe not together, but started some kind of new business, starting working on your grounding, 
going through like this crazy abundance and then the two of you met each other and you're both just like wow like our lives are like lining up without us even like knowing each other and it's definitely going to be some more signs, you know, I, I really feel like you're, you're going to find out that the two of you like a lot of the same things, that you've been to a lot of the same places, maybe even at the same time, but you didn't even know that you were there together. But, you know, you weren't there together, but you were experiencing the same thing at the same time. So flow magic, definitely water magic, something could happen around water between the two of you. Ezekiel, transform, let go of fears of the unknown and embrace the power of change. Let go of what you what you are not happy with. Open your mind and heart. So absolutely. So the two of you are both going through a transformation and awakening. And this is, this is beautiful. 1646, don't worry. Your prayers are being answered. You and your loved ones are safe. Take it one step out of a at a time your spiritual journey is a rate is not a race growth and healing take time and understanding exactly so spirit is telling you ground yourself and just you know balance spirituality and practicality right like find you know ground yourself in the fact that this person is coming into your life it's going to be okay don't focus on this person coming into your life focus on yourself focus on your journey focus on just being happy every day and that's what's going to help bring the balance into your life and help manifest this person into your life. It's just you working on being happy every single day. Okay, apparently this wants to be out. Uh, 318, listen to your inner wisdom and divine guidance. Your prayers and positivity are leading you to financial success and abundance. Your needs will be met. So absolutely, like I was just saying, the two of you are both going through abundance. You're both manifesting in great um, positivity into your life through the work that you're doing. Beautiful. Is there any other messages that you have? Any other messages? Any other signs or messages? Uh, fly on the wall watching. So I feel with that, I feel like um, wherever you're at this event or however you meet each other, I feel like this other person is going to see you first or some one or one of you is going to see each other first and you're going to be like, oh, wow, like I've got to go over there and talk to that person is what I feel like. Um, Eagle. Uh, spiritual guidance and messages both of you are very much so being spiritually guided to, to uh, together this meeting is so destined it's destined and it's and it's you know the the your guides are putting in work to make this happen oh, okay crow message protection your ancestors so definitely your ancestors are, are both of you are putting putting in the work to make to make this meeting happen so that two of you can both be happy oh that's so sweet so definitely show your gratitude be thankful and grateful for your ancestors because they're definitely helping you they're definitely helping you make this make this work red rose love so definitely your ancestors are like both of you deserve love please come together you're gonna love each other so much you you, you you both deserve to be happy 707 luck is on your side embrace the new beginnings you and your spiritual team have manifested exactly absolutely gorgeous is there anything else one last message that you might want to get out one last message spirit yeah also with that i feel like i i just realized i've been holding my breath and i didn't know that so yeah sweetness oh like i was just saying right sweetness the sweetness of life you know, al allow yourself to get into this like really sweet, like, oh, life is really sweet. Life is okay. Everything's working out. I'm grateful for everything that I have. I really feel like the two of you are both going to be issuing in a bunch of abundance into your life. You're going to have really rapid changes happening into your life. They're just going to open up this beautiful, um, this beautiful state of being for the two of you. And then when you're both in that mood, that's when you're both just going to zoop and like come together and it's just going to just absolutely work out. Yeah. 125 change is coming maintain a positive a positive and optimistic outlook divine reasoning new and fortunate opportunities yeah so i i i just heard dumb luck so you're just gonna feel like you both just ran into each other you just happen to be sitting next to each other you both just happen to meet each other and and just boom and the rest is history <laughs> all right so i hope you guys really enjoyed this this was fun i really enjoyed being in your energy i hope it's giving you a little bit of pick me up um it's definitely uh, helps me feel a, uh, not a lot better i was feeling fine today but it's helping me feel pretty good today i really enjoyed being in you guys energy i hope maybe uh, you know it's giving you a little bit of guidance or a little bit of kind of like push forward like yes keep going on your journey it's okay everything that's happened to you in the past has happened to you for a reason it's to send you to the point where you can finally be where you know it, it's just like don't um neglect to see that the things that happened in your past eventually will lead you to this person and it will lead you to meeting this beautiful new soulmate that you can have in your life you know and this is this is glorious 
Okay, so you guys really enjoy it. Get into the sweet life. Get into it because, ooh, I just heard that Frank that Frank Ocean song, Sweet Life. The sweet life. Oh my God, I'm going to have to listen to that song. Absolutely. So, um, or listen to that song if you really feel like it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll always feel very ocean breezy and things like that when I think about that, that song. So I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new and you enjoyed this, think about subscribing or liking or um, sharing <laughs> sharing this with somebody you think that it might really help. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here and giving me your energy and participating in this energy exchange. I really hope it helped guide you and move you forward. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers that I'm having. The family is growing every day, so I'm super excited that every day that we're, we seem to be just uh, you know coming together and, and attracting more beautiful people into the circle. Oh, also, thank you you so much you guys have been so sweet here recently on all of my comments commenting on my makeup and things like that and thank you so much <laughs> I really appreciate it you guys thanks for being up and me I love you guys right back okay so very much so appreciate that all right I really hope this helped you on your journey moving forward if you feel called to check out any of my other videos please do and I will see you guys next time all right bye